overstock.com, which is the one of the first major retailers to start accepting Bitcoin for products uh, on their website. And um, they are pushing forward to new frontiers um, in the in the Bitcoin uh, economy. So what what are some of these new developments that they're going to start implementing for overstock Bitcoin payments? Okay, so we've got two pretty exciting news stories coming from overstock. The first one, uh, Patrick Byrne did an interview uh, on RT with uh, Kate Long on the show she does on RT. And they were talking about Bitcoin, and he he uh, dropped the news that they would be, that within four to six weeks, they would be expanding their Bitcoin acceptance to the entire world. Currently, ever since they started accepting Bitcoin in January, at the beginning of 2014, it's been U.S. only. So now, um, everywhere that has access to Overstock.com can now, will be able to pay for their goods in Bitcoin within four to six weeks. Uh, that's that's a pretty big deal just because of the sheer size of Overstock. It's a direct competitor with Amazon. Yeah. Um, and let's see. Yeah, it's it's a one point five billion dollar business, um, according to Patrick Byrne. That's you know that's a pretty sig- substantial, uh, significantly sized company. Yeah. Um, Byrne in this interview said that before his company started accepting Bitcoin, the largest company was worth a million dollars. So Overstock has definitely brought some you know big business into the Bitcoin economy, and Bitcoin. It, U.S. Bitcoin sales alone makes up a quarter of a percent of Overstock's total revenues. Now, you know, that doesn't seem like a lot, um, but when we're talking about $1.5 billion, almost 1% of the, or a fourth of a percent of that is in um, yeah, Bitcoin. Bitcoin sales, yeah. It's a pretty good bit of money. And once that, it's, once that is expanded to the whole world, you know, it's going to be even more. Yeah. So... That's the first story. Do you have anything to say about it before I move on to the next one? Well, I think that's great. Um, you know, Overstock is one of the um, greatest, or and, and their CEO, Patrick Byrne as well, you know, one of the greatest supporters of Bitcoin and, and promoting its acceptance and adoption. And, you know, Overstock is really going the whole mile right here by, you know, opening up this payment option to the entire world, which, you know, given Bitcoin's decentralized nature, it kind of should have been that way from the beginning, but it's tough to implement, you know, that's kind of stuff for the whole world when there's all kinds of legal issues that you have to wade through, especially for a big corporation like Overstock. So it's great that they're going on to uh, yeah, the world. Yeah, and I think it's I think it's really awesome that it's actually, you know, Patrick Byrne because, you know, he's not, he's not one of these people who's jumping on the bandwagon. Like, he was, you know, a, a pioneer. Like, he was... yeah. One of one of the first major businesses to accept Bitcoin, and he did it because of his beliefs. Like not not because uh, obviously he did it for profit motive because he expects to make to become super rich off of it in the future. But in in his interview with Kate Long on RT, he said that he wanted Overstock to accept Bitcoin just because he holds an anti-authoritarian ideology. So, you know, this this is a guy who has, you know, long term visions for Bitcoins, not just short term profits in mind. So I think it's I think if any company is going to be the first global comp like major global company to accept Bitcoin, Overstock was probably the best company that could have done it because simply because Patrick Byrne is so idea ideologically invested in it, he's definitely going to make sure that um that Bitcoin is easy to use for his company. Yeah. And so that's, you know, they're expanding acceptance to the whole world. So that's kind of the external aspect that they're supporting Bitcoin with. Um, But internally, inside the company as well, they're actually expanding Bitcoin use in terms of, you know, just payments to employees. And so what are are some developments on how they're going to, you know, promote that? Right. In a recent interview with Mashable, um, an Overstock representative by the name of Judd uh, Bagley, 
I think that's how you pronounce his name. He revealed that um, Overstock is working on a plan to offer annual bonuses in Bitcoin. And um, I think he said that they're that, that that program is going to be up and running by the end of the year, hopefully. And they're actually the company is actually going is actually going to be trying to encourage their employees to pick the Bitcoin bonus over the fiat bonus hmm. because they're going to be offering it at a premium. You'll be if you pick Bitcoin, you'll actually get a bigger bonus than you would if you picked fiat. Wow. Yeah. And what's what's even bigger, the main news story is this they're going to be paying bonuses, but um, after Coindesk got a hold of this news story from Mashable, they reached out to this representative and asked for a comment, and he actually told Coindesk, uh, this is a direct quote, depending on how that works out in regards, in reference to the uh, bonuses, uh, depending on how it works out and is received, we will look at making regular payroll checks available in Bitcoin. Nice. So if this bonus program works out, they could they could be uh, pursuing a program to pay wages and salaries completely in Bitcoin. Wow. Yeah, blazing and that's, new paths right there. That's huge for acceptance because if you have a bunch of people who get paid in nothing but Bitcoin, um, obviously Overstock won't be able to do this single-handedly, but it's a huge first step. If enough people get paid solely in Bitcoin, then businesses will be forced just out of necessity to maintain, you know, their profits, the same business. They'll have no choice but to accept Bitcoin as payment. And as a result of that, the people who are higher up the ladder who make producers goods and extract raw materials from the earth, they'll be able to or they will have to accept Bitcoin as well. And what that'll do is um, companies uh, like merchants and retailers, they'll no longer have to cash out their Bitcoins for fiat because they can pay for overhead expenses in Bitcoin. So yeah. if so, once that happens, um, it's really going to be like a huge historical achievement for Bitcoin um, because the value would finally be stabilized. Yeah. Because you have these people who get paid a nothing but Bitcoin, so they buy everything in Bitcoin. They and pay then, for expenses in Bitcoin. You know. Yeah, and then those and then those bitcoins that the businesses get, they stay bitcoins. Like they don't convert them into dollars. It's so, an actual currency that's being exchanged yeah. between all these people. So, so you know, like when, when a major company accepts Bitcoin, you know, usually we get this huge spike in sell volume because they're converting their revenues to fiat. That won't happen anymore, and that'll be huge for Bitcoin.